Hello again! In the last video I presented you how to configure the CC-Link ITSN network in GXWorks 3. In this video I will show you the diagnostics functions that you can find in our software. We have a wide range of different tools that will help you to check if the communication is running smoothly without any delays or errors. These tools will even provide you information about the devices itself not only the communication with them. So let's see it in the software. After setting up our CC-Link ITSN network, we can use the range of diagnostic options uh, to see if all devices are available and if data is exchanged smoothly. The first one is TSN Diagnostics window. Uh, if we have more uh, than one network in our configuration, we have to select the right modules that we want to monitor. And then we will see the diagnostic windows uh, where we can check uh, our whole network configuration. In this case, I have three remote devices connected uh, to our system, uh, all in a line topology. Uh, star topology is also available in TSN, so if it was a star topology, it would be also represented on the diagram. Here I can see the names of all devices, their IP addresses, MAC addresses, and also I can check their current state, if they are successfully connected or not. If there are any errors on any module, I will also see it here. Now I have all my three devices connected successfully, but when I will uh, disconnect one of them, I will see in real time, just a couple of seconds, that one of the devices is disconnected. Now I connect this again. And just after a few seconds, I can once again see that the communication is working successfully here. Uh, what other options we have here? We have Station Information List button. Here we can see all the network devices, this time in a table view. We can see their names, station numbers, uh, IP address, MAC address, and in some cases we will also see information like firmware version or serial number. We can also perform a communication test for remote devices to see if the connection is working uh, correctly without any delays. So we open the communication test and here I can configure my test. I will be communicating between station number zero, so my PLC, uh, and target station uh, number two, uh, which I have selected from my diagram. Now I click execute test. The software performs the test uh, and I can see that in my case, uh, the test was successful without any large uh, communication delays uh, and errors. If there were any errors during the test, I will also get the message what went wrong. Of course, I can see the errors in real time, but I can also click on the error history button to check all the issues that happened earlier. Another very useful option is Remote Operation button. This may have different function for different devices, but in most cases it allows to perform a remote reset of the device. In this case I have IO Station selected. If I click Remote Operation, I can uh, reset that device remotely. This may be very useful, especially when we have big configuration with many devices spread over a large area and we don't have to go to each device and reset this manually, we can reset all the devices uh, from this window via network. Okay, 
uh, I already performed the reset and I can see that communication is working again. Next useful tool is the Intelligent Function Module Monitor. When we will find our TSN network module from hardware configuration in the project, I can right click and choose Register to Intelligent Function Module Monitor. Here I have list of all devices in my network, so I choose one of them. And I can monitor all data being exchanged between TS and master module and the selected device. I can see all the addresses assigned uh, to communication and also if I go to uh, the monitoring mode of GX Works 3, I can see in real time the data exchange. So I can see the input data from the network device, but I can also force the output values here. So it's a very quick way to uh, diagnose the communication in both ways, without any programming, using functions blocks, etc. So please notice that all of these functions are available directly in GXWorks 3 without any additional programming, skills or experience. I think that with such a toolkit you will be able to manage, uh, diagnose and maintain your TSN networks without any worries. In the next episode I will show you the diagnostics functions that are built in our HMI panels GOT. So see you there. Thank you for watching. Bye.